It's time to do a few upgrades on this blackjack. I'm going to do a little experimentation by changing the motor and the ESC and see what I can get out of this guy. I'll be replacing the 30 amp ESC with a 60 amp ESC and I'll be replacing the 2000 kV motor with a 2750 kV motor. Team Baxter. First thing I need to do is gut this. So I'll be pulling out a little bit of the cooling system. I'll be pulling out the motor, uh, releasing the drive shaft, pulling out the ESC. I'm going to keep the stock receiver for now and um, I'm going to be making a few little adjustments to my cooling system to accommodate the new electronics. So go ahead and start getting this stuff pulled out of here and start getting things changed. The boat is gutted and ready for the new electronics install. Um, the motor is ready. There doesn't need any preparation. It has large leads on it and it comes with its own leads for the ESC. So I need to remove the leads on the ESC that came with it, which are just fine in itself. But the Leopard motor takes quite large uh, bullet connectors. So I'm going to remove the stock and put these Leopard bullet connectors on. Also, I'm going to put Traxxas leads on the ESC because that's my preferred battery connection. And then the ESC will be ready to place into the blackjack. I got the leads prepared. I left a little bit of color designation on each one um, so that I could have an easier hookup. Uh, nice fat bullets on there. And I put a little shrink wrap on there just to pretty it up a little bit. Traxxas connectors on there, nothing special about that. This is now ready to go into the boat. I've got the cooling system disconnected. This wires, come, this tubing's kind of just hanging here. This one as well. Pull that out. That's left over. So now I'll go ahead and install the ESC here in the slot where the old one was. Motor, of course, gets installed there. After I get the motor and the cooling jacket installed, I'll start working on the cooling system and getting it all wired up correctly. Before I do all this, I'll be installing the water outlets. There is one on each side. The existing hole just about fits this outlet. And it goes in there in flush mounts. There's a small rubber gasket behind there that sits on there flat to kind of keep water out. This goes on and then the screw goes on behind it and then it gets screwed in tight. And there's a little bit of hex there so you can screw it on as tight as you need to. Uh, drill this hole just a hint smaller than this and uh, get it installed. And the tubing goes on the back over the nib. So get both of these installed. There's one on each side. One goes to the motor and one goes to the ESC. I'll get these installed and then I'll start installing the electronics. I got the outlets mounted now. Just a little bit of extrusion and a quarter inch hole there. Nice big fat hole for that exhaust to come out of there. So pretty happy about that and now I can install my electronics. I got the motor installed. It went in pretty well. The water jacket went on remarkably easy. I added a little bit of grease. Uh, to the two o-rings and it slid right on and it's locked itself in and won't go anywhere um, so that was super easy I did overlook the fact that the new motor has a 1.8 shaft and my collet has a my collet coupler has a uh, five millimeter shaft uh, opening so I had to get an adapter uh, to step the eighth inch shaft up to a five millimeter shaft that's on there and then the collet went right over it the collet coupler went right over it no problem and um, spinning a prop here you can see it moving just fun um, still have to lube up and everything but I just wanted to get it on there make sure everything was okay so now that I've got the motor installed I'm gonna go ahead and get my ESC installed before I start my water cooling system um, pretty simple ESC installation double stick tape and dropper right in there um, hook it up to the motor and that's it for the ESC installation get it hooked up to the receiver of course 
Um, going to give it a little test spin and see what's going on. So the motor and ESC are in now. You can see the ESC went in just as simply as I said it would. I've already started running a little bit of the cooling system just so I could kind of get a grasp on what's going where. Um, you can see this one tube is going to the pickup underneath on the right side and this tube is going to the outlets that I installed earlier same kind of thing going on here uh, this one tube leads to the rear uh, rudder pickup this leads to the other um, pickup below and I will be using the Y connectors that I got to join and take them down to the to the one tube that will run from the motor and then out of the other side of the motor will run to the outlet on the opposite side pretty simple cooling um, the only reason I have a Y is because the boat comes with a rudder pickup and um, I found that it was insufficient so I'm supplementing that with a lower pickup and shooting that right to the motor uh, which will probably hold the most heat so um, and then as I said the other side goes right out the side so I'm going to go ahead and get all of this hooked up and then all I'll have to do is start cleaning up the wiring so the wiring's all done you can see the the Y connector in there I'm going to put a little restraint on the ends of those tubes just to keep them on the Y connector but that's pretty much done uh, bundle the wires there ESC lead coming off of there um, got the water cooling running from the pickup just like I said and the motors hooked up everything's okay so now it's time to get this thing uh, running just gonna bend it real quick to uh, verify operation got the radio on already Plug a 2S in just to test it. Power up. And she armed just normal. Steering is still operational just like it's supposed to be. Give it slight throttle. And the new SC is working just fine. really nice and smooth so I'm going to stop playing with this motor until I get it in water but everything works fine now it's time to go outside and test it 